seize anti officers here present on your appointment in the offices that you now hold. Uh, I am pleased to join you this morning for this very important meeting as we seek to induct our county executive committee members and the chief officers in charge of agriculture, livestock and fisheries and also at the blue economy. I say important because this will be a stepping stone to the implementation of our county integrated development plans which contribute to the achievement of the national plans. I know we have over very many years focused on the growth of our agricultural sector which has been and continues to be a major contributor of our GDP. However, over the last decade, the Blue Economy Agenda has become a topic of discussion and can no longer be put on the side. Noting that it has great potential to also contribute to our GDP in a big way and also just as agriculture provide food and nutrition security to our people. Ladies and gentlemen, I stand here to address you as the chairperson of the Blue Economy Committee, which has come to appreciate the fact that our oceans, lakes, rivers, and water towers have the potential to give us tremendous wealth in terms of natural capital, as well as living and non-living resources. There is growing appreciation among the county governments that it is critical to leverage new frontier in order to realize our economic potential. Since the Sustainable Blue Economy Conference held in Nairobi in 2018, we have come to appreciate the fact that blue economy is a major contributor of urban and regional development. We have also come to understand that our maritime and aquatic resources are critical to our aspirations of Vision 2030. I believe it is for this reason that His Excellency the President Dr. William Samuel Ruto thought it wise to have a fully dedicated ministry to deal with matters blue economy and maritime affairs. In line with this, the Council of Governors Blue Economy Committee has requested the governors and the counties to consider having blue economy focal persons who will champion the blue economy agenda in the counties. Ladies and gentlemen, as you may well be aware, the idea of that I appreciate the African Union definition of blue economy as it encompasses all our blue resources, including not only the ocean, but also lakes, rivers and underground water. It is from this that all the counties are relevant when it comes to sustainable utilization of these resources, which most of our counties have. Ladies and gentlemen, we note that despite the huge potential of this sector, there is still a low level awareness on the sector and its economic potential among county governments which remains largely untapped. We therefore cannot fully benefit from our blue resources if we do not build our capacity and that of our communities that rely on these resources. In addition, and as has been experienced previously, weak institutional frameworks and coordination, a significant skills gap, a lack of financial resources, and a lack of quality data has prevented us from effectively addressing the issues affecting the sector and truly optimizing the many blue economy sectors. These are a few of the issues that we must resolve at every stage of our development at both levels of government, national and counties. I however believe that as and our various development partners we will be successful in addressing the aforementioned challenges. At the Council of Governors Blue Economy Committee, 
we are prioritizing these issues and focusing on the following key priority areas, which I believe should be seriously considered by all of us here if we are to realize the full potential of our blue resources. One, engaging in better government, which will generate a stream of investment possibilities to advance the blue economy and ultimately help our local communities while safeguarding the environment for future generations. Two, advocating for the use of already existing research and data to underpin governance reforms and shape the management of our blue economy resources. And thirdly, enhancing market accessibility and infrastructure to produce greater long-lasting effects that benefit the communities. I therefore put it to you, ladies and gentlemen, that as county governments, we can bring about a significant change in this sector, including the investments and their governance, technology, markets, and ultimately food and nutrition uh, security when equipped with the capacity which this induction will partly cover. It is my hope that through this induction we will be well equipped to advance the blue economy agenda in our countries. With those very many remarks, thank you very much and I wish you a successful induction week during uh, uh, this period that you will be uh, undertaking an uh, induction uh, course here. Hustlers economy in the blue waters. We have resulted into taking a value chain approach where we identify where the market is, what products are required, who provide what within the value chain and lastly identify the inherent challenges and provide possible solutions. Such activities will enable us to have a clear view of the sector which employs more people in the various stages of the value chain and therefore we are able to reach our desired objective. Ladies and gentlemen, we take cognizance that our fishermen are already organized in PMUs and I'm sure in most counties they are organized into BMUs and our target is to work with the county government to institute them into cooperatives where they can be able to access financial capital from money lending institutions. Away from the tradition where fishermen or vendors have to rely on well wishers, we have to change the narrative and ensure they become self sufficient and empowered. Ladies and gentlemen, the private sector plays a pivotal role in ensuring that the blue space economy thrives. As a government, we are working with private sector to strengthen our deep sea fishing, more so in the exclusive economic zone, where we have shared participation and the participation of county government is paramount. We are also seeking to partner with the private entities to have small ports along the coasts, with modern facilities at which we meet international standards. We envision the development of fishing ports in Lamu and Shimoni to provide for handling and processing of marine catch for local and export markets. Ladies and gentlemen, with the rapidly growing population, demand for fish as food is rising dramatically. This has resulted to uh, overfishing in the EEZ and we have noted that there has been increased illegal and reported and unregulated fishing and the encroachment of critical fish habitats thus threatening food and nutrition security which is worsened by the consequences of climate change uh, contributing to decline in biodiversity. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ministry has identified a number of interventions both in the short, medium and long term, whose implementation will spur the sector's contribution to food and nutrition security, employment and income generation. These include the establishment of fish landing sites along Lake Victoria, 
Sori and Luanda Kotieno in Migori and Siaya counties respectively have been completed and operationalized. Mulukho Mendiwa fish landing site in Homa Bay, Ogal fishing landing site in Kisumu, and Wichlum fish landing site in Siaya are earmarked for construction and rehabilitation in the subsequent financial year. I further directed that providing of additional fish landing sites for development be undertaken. So far, six landing sites, namely Asati Kisumu County, Wakula, Kiumba, and Mainuga in Homa Bay County, Gold Kachola landing site, Migori County and Bumbe landing site, and also in Busia. These are new areas that have been uh, identified. Establishment of landing sites and fish marketing along the coastline. The landing sites are Kibuyuni, Gaz, and Banga in Kwale County, Gomeni and Kichwa Chakati in Kilifi County. The fish markets are also, uh, we have a fish market uh, which we have identified in Malibi and Likoni in Mombasa County. Furthermore, the Ministry has provided additional fish landing sites for development at Kizingitini, Mokoe, Faza, Kiwayu in Lamu County, Kipini, Manjila, Minjila, Chara, and Ozi in Tana River County, Watamu, Kokilifi, Mayungu, Kuruitu, and Mtuapa in Kilifi County, Sunza, Mwaefe, Majoreni, Nyari, Kikadini in Kwale County. Similar facilities will be constructed in the in inland water bodies along Lake Tukana, Naivasha, and Baringo. The fish landing infrastructure are designed and purpose to provide for fish landing, handling, cold storage, as well as mini processing for value addition. Maybe I can say a little more, uh, Chairman, uh, about the landing sites. Our idea as a ministry for these landing sites, we would wish to work very closely with the private sector so that the landing sites become units of value addition. So that when you land the fish, then you have basic cold storage, you also basic uh, uh, job creation around uh, that, that facility because of the value addition. And I think this is where we need to uh, work with the county government so that we are able to realize this dream. Capacity building of fishing crew to venture into deep sea fishing. Already the Ministry has acquired three medium sized deep sea going vessels, who will be one, two, and three, and are in the process of equipping these vessels. I, I know these vessels have been an embarrassment. They have stayed for too long. I, I went to Lamu. And I saw that uh, the boat is there, it has not been utilized. And I know there's one here in Mombasa, there's another one in Kwale, these three boats. So I want to assure this gathering are properly uh, instructed to make sure that uh, these boats are able to function. Development of Liwatoni uh, Tuna Fish Hub, whose initial phase is fully funded by the government of Kenya. And the phase two of this particular project, we are looking forward to working with the private sector because we want to make the Watoni uh, more than what we think now. So we are working with the private sector so that the Watoni uh, can have an entire ecosystem where you learn the fish, you process, also provide market for uh, other vendors and that job creation becomes a priority uh, in this particular uh, uh, landing site. We are also establishing Kabonyo Fisheries and Aquaculture Service and Training Center in Kisumu County. This is a project where we've already approved one million for the uh, first one. And any time next month we should be able to go to the ground to do groundbreaking for this Carbonio uh, Aquaculture Center of Excellency. This is an a set of excellency which will be able to provide uh, at least 7 million fingerlings to the entire country. And more of the countries that are doing aquaculture 
will be able to benefit from this uh, particular uh, project. Paya in the Indian Ocean, that is the Cape uh, in Marine Waters, was 24,518 metric tons, valued at 5 billion. These are the total landings for fish, 5 billion. Uh, this only translates to 8% of the marine potential. So here in the Indian Ocean, even though uh, here in Mombasa, the five counties here, people think they are really into fish production, fish eating. I want to tell you, we are only doing 8%. So we still have 92% that we have not done in the Indian Ocean. So it means that we really need to work together so that we are able to change this particular equation. If you look at the potential, the potential, okay, we are doing 24,580. The potential is 300,000 metric tons, which translates into 100 billion. So we can move from 5 billion to 100 billion. But that means we need to put our act together. That is why these issues of building offices will not take us here. These issues of treating blue economy with, uh, together with agriculture to add county governments. And chair, the two chairs, you, have, you will help us in this. I think county governments need to set up specific units for blue economy. So that then we are able to leverage on investments, we are able to work with you, and we are able to isolate issues of crops and blue economy. And blue economy, by the way, is not fisheries. Blue economy fisheries is just a, is just a, a, a segment of blue economy. Blue economy, we have quite a lot. We have marine transport. Uh, we have the entire area of uh, uh, bio technology in the blue water. So I think uh, I also want to move the debate that blue economy is not equal to fisheries. So if you are here and you are the CC blue economy, you need now to go and broaden so that we move away from fishing to blue economy proper. So that fisheries is just one, uh, one of it. If I continue with the statistics, our artisanal, artisanal fishers, eh? Our artisanal fishers, they were able to learn 23,000 metric tons. These are the, the, the small fishermen. In deep sea, Your Excellency Chairman, Timami, and you listen to this. In the deep sea fishing, which is done uh, at the exclusive economic zone, we were able, in, in the same period, they landed 200,000 metric tons. If you compare with Mauritius, they landed over 250,000 metric tons, while Kenya was landing 1,580. So we have a lot of work to do in the exclusive economic zone. And as a ministry, we want to work with you uh, so that we are able to uh, inspire this particular economy. If you look at value addition, the active fish processing factories in the Indian Ocean are three, and they are all, uh, currently operating at 25 percent. So it means we have quite a lot of work to do there. So there is no. There is no capacity. If there are only three, then there is no capacity to uh, be able to process, you know, the, the fish from the exclusive economic zone. Statistics with the, uh, the budget in fisheries in the same year or maybe subsequent years, you will realize that the government of Kenya found 10 billion. And then we only got 42 million as level, which is 0, 0 0.4%. You see, these are these are real figures, and these are the baseline within which you should know, and within which we should be.
working on. So I think what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, is that we need to move beyond our traditions. We now have to fully, uh, we have to fully take our place in the blue economy. I think His Excellency the President has already done very well to create a whole ministry, a whole state department. So I think it is upon us in the county governments to also uh, work with us so that we can be able to inspire this economy. And I want to assure the leadership of the Council of Governors and county governments that we, we mean it when we say we will work together. Uh, I think most of you know about my background. So, yes, Honorable Presidio is here. You also know my background. Uh, some of the issues that you are grappling with, uh, you might not need to preach to me because I 